Good morning students. In your syllabus of term 2, you see that there is a practical called collect and study the soil from at least two different sites and study them for texture, moisture content, pH and water holding capacity. Correlate with the kind of plants found in them. So we will do them these experiments and you try to pay attention so you learn it so that when you come you can do these practicals by your own. Let us first do about the uh, percolation of water. Now you should know that soil is made up of uh, break, is made by the breakdown of rocks. Now when these rocks break down they form into fine particles. You know that soil are of various kinds. Clay soil, the loamy soil, the sandy soil. It all depends on the size of the particles that are present in the soil. Now if the size of the particles are very big, then they will not retain water. But if the particles are very small, then they will not allow the water to pass through. So we have got three samples of soil collected from three different sites. We have marked them as sample 1, 2, 3. Now, how will we proceed? So you look in here, you have a filter paper, you fold it and you make a filter funnel. So you take a funnel, you place it there. Now to this, you measure the amount of soil that you want to put. We are three different samples, so we are preparing three sets to find out the percolation rate of water through this soil. So you see we have taken the soil in a measuring uh, what you call it, uh, machine, weighing machine and you can see the reading over there is 20 grams, 20.01, so approximately 20 grams. So we take 20 grams of soil. We have taken 20 grams of soil in each one of them. Now we take this 20 gram of soil and place it on this funnel. Good. Now to this funnel we add water, equal amount of water. So you see in this we are adding 50 ml, 50 ml of water. So we add on this one 50 ml. Make sure that the water does not come out over the filter paper. So you add 50 ml of water in this one and you see the water is percolating. Add the same amount of water Fifty 
When all the moisture content of the soil gets removed, you have to wait again. So that this will take some time because there is a lot of moisture in the soil. It has rained last night so many. So what will you get after some time? You will get W2. W2. That W2 will obviously be less than W1. So what will be W? W that is the final weight will be W1 minus W2 and this will give you 
moisture content of the soil the amount of water present in the soil so this is all the moisture content this is how you will do this experiment is that clear i hope that is clear to you i will not waste my time on that one now the last experiment for today is that we have got this soil samples so you take this soil sample in a test tube any soil sample you can take it in the test tube so i take the soil sample in a test tube and i add to it distilled water why distilled water because it will not contain any other ions in it add distilled water to it and i seek it well i seek it well that means i'm trying to dissolve the contents of the soil in the distilled water so the it has been dissolved and i allow it to stand for some time i've done one of them earlier as well for you to see so what will happen is the soil will settle down due to gravity so what will be left out is the superlative the water above you take the superlative it should have been more clearer you take the superlative in another test tube and to it you add the universal indicator which have got a scale of readings which shows the Uh, strength of the acid or the base, the pH values. It ranges from four, which is red, to eleven, which is uh, bluish in color. So let me try and see what is the pH of the soil. Because that's a very important parameter to know whether the soil is acidic or the soil is alkaline, so that the farmers can be told and necessary treatment can be given to the soil in order to. get a better output of agriculture produce so what do you do is to this you add the universal indicator of your drops so you add a few drops of it and mix it well and you match the color with the color chart way you can see the color that matches over here i can see it matches with 6.5 6.5 so i can say that the ph value of the soil is 6.5 now you know that ph of 7 is neutral ph less than 7 is acidic and more than 7 is basic it is 6.5 that means it is very close to the neutral condition the soil is not either neither too acidic not too alkaline so this is how you find out so we had done three parts of this experiment the first one was the percolation rate the second we did was the moisture content and the third we did was the ph of the soil sample that we collected from different sources i believe you have understood it and i hope you can do that experiment on your own when you are alone thank you very much